My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinner ideas using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so it is the week of Christmas and I am not going to be doing a whole lot of cooking this week. So tonight we are having a pizza from HEB. It's in the deli section and never bought it before, but this is just a 12 inch pepperoni pizza. Popped it in the oven for 10 minutes directly on the rack and here it is. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so Harrison has been sick for the last couple of days, so I have not made any dinner, but I wanted to show you what I'm making us for lunch. We're having this chorizo queso from HEB that I picked up um, on a recent haul, and this is what the label looks like, and all you do is pop it into the oven with a little bit of milk, and here it is. I have bought the brisket before, and um, we really like that. The chorizo is just okay. I don't know that I would buy it again, but I would definitely stick with the brisket. And then I just warmed up some tortilla chips on the cookie sheet. So this is what we're having for lunch and I'll be back with the dinner soon. So for dinner tonight, we are having Kung Pao chicken. It is from Trader Joe's. It was in my freezer and Howard and I really like this a lot. I haven't made it in a while. It does come with peanuts in a separate package and uh, we don't care for peanuts in the dish, so we just eat those separately. Um, but I am serving it over some jasmine rice, and then I also stir fried some fresh broccoli and added this Korean barbecue sauce, I'm sorry, Korean barbecue seasoning to it. It's very tasty along with a little bit of sesame oil. It's an easy meal tonight. Today is the first day that Harrison has not had a fever in about four days. So I was able to put a little bit of something together. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is called beef enchilada casserole. Of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. I've just added some taco seasoning to one pound of cooked ground beef. And now I'm adding in one can of pinto beans. The recipe says to drain and rinse them. I didn't rinse them, I just drained them. And now I'm just gonna give it a stir and then let everything combine on or in the pot. Okay, so my meat mixture is all done. I've got a two quart casserole dish here that I have sprayed with a bit of cooking spray. I'm putting about a fourth of a cup of enchilada sauce. I'm using old El Paso in the bottom, just gonna spread it around. And then I'm just going to layer all of the ingredients here. So I'm gonna start off by adding a layer of tortillas. These are corn tortillas. I had them in my freezer, I had about 10 left, which is what the recipe calls for. So I'm just gonna put them in there. And next it says had to add half of the meat and bean mixture. And then to add about a third of cheese. So it calls for cheddar cheese. However, I have a mixture right here of uh, Colby Jack that I needed to use. The expiration date was coming up pretty soon, so I wanted to use that and then to add some more enchilada sauce. And then, like I said, just repeat the layers again. Okay, so here it is. It is ready to go into the oven. It says to cover it and bake it for 30 minutes and then take the cover off and then let it continue to bake for another five, 10 minutes or until that cheese is nice and melty. Okay, so here is our dinner. And as you can see, I added some green onions and fresh tomatoes. Uh, that's what the recipe called for. And I am serving it with a side of canned corn and Spanish style rice. This is a canned corn that I'm using. I got it from HEB and it is really sweet. Uh, it's pretty tasty and crunchy. And then here is the Spanish rice. I picked this up on a recent um, Trader Joe's haul. So you get two pouches in the packet, and I did microwave it. You can cook it on the stove too. 
uh, two pouches, but they're pretty, I mean, it's enough for like one person or a two person household, but for a family, one pouch isn't gonna do it. So you'd end up making both pouches, but it is pretty good. I will have to say that. Um, but anyway, uh, also the casserole is pretty tasty too. So, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Merry Christmas, everyone. It is Christmas day and we are having Christmas dinner. It's just the three of us. I didn't make a whole lot of food. As you know, Harrison has been sick, but let me show you Howard's plate. He made a ham and here is the rest of the ham. We're gonna freeze some of this, but he made a ham and we've got some collard greens and he's eating his over rice. Collard greens are made with smoked ham hocks. He doesn't really care for sweet potato casserole that I made, so he just got a little bit. And then this is my plate. I've got ham, greens, sweet potato casserole, cornbread dressing. And I do have a video for the cornbread dressing and that sweet potato casserole as well. I did not even make a dessert, you guys. Uh, we are having these caramel apple tartlets. My parents sent us some Omaha steaks for Christmas and you got a whole bunch of different types of meat and then you also got these caramel apple tartlets for dessert. So I just decided to throw those in the oven and we're gonna have some ice cream or whipped cream with it. So this is what we are having for dinner on Christmas day. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas.